Mr. Transformers 96 here with another video where I'm going to be talking about some possibilities for Hot Toys Logan figures as well as our first official like acknowledgement from Hot Toys about Logan. Uh, just some brief, uh, you know, back uh, backstory to this. Obviously, Hot Toys has made four uh, Wolverine figures, so the assumption from everybody was really that they would do Logan. You know, it would just be obvious. Um, however, there has been nothing from them about this. A lot of times they'll have licenses announcements which they didn't do for Logan they also did not post any of the Logan trailers on their Facebook like they do with most um uh, with most properties that they had the license for and then uh, there was obviously no reveal or no tease in the slightest during the week that Logan was released uh, and it was released pretty much worldwide so uh, they, they, for me personally I really had started to lose all hope uh, that there would get that there would be any Logan figures however today we have our first official uh, you know glimpse or just anything from Hot Toys regarding Logan. We have a Hot Toys, uh, they, they posted um, an image on their uh, Twitter as well as on their Instagram and it was to promote their uh, the teaser for their Cosbaby Spider-Man Homecoming figures, but uh, you know, if for some reason they chose to do it on this. But for some reason, in the description of uh, of that on on both Twitter and Instagram, they put yeah, where is capital I S uh, Logan and a question mark, and then they have a, a small like little emoji on their Instagram post and but not on their um, Twitter post. So this is surprising. I mean, I don't know why they did this in a preview for a Cosbaby. Uh, Spider-Man uh, figures as well as yeah where is Logan is kind of a strange thing to say um, I have seen them be just bombarded by people asking about the Logan figure I've done it myself because I, I am just dying for that so possibly this is just their kind of way of either Either they're just kind of like annoyed with all the Logan comments, so they're just kind of putting this out there to just, I don't know, uh, uh, to either just get people to, to know that they're thinking about it or they're trying to do it or, or who knows what the case is. However, now that we have an official um, acknowledgement from them about Logan, it, it stands to reason that there's a good chance that we'll get a Logan figure at the very minimum. Um, so that's that's extremely I, I'm very glad because I have been dying for the slogan figure I didn't pick up the other the the previous two Wolverines because I was just I, I kept considering it but I, I just kept putting it off saying you know I'll get the next one I'll get the next one and I've finally been so excited to get this one I made a video a few months ago about my the figures I'm most anticipated for from 2017 movies Logan was number two on that list uh, and and you know I was devastated when I thought Hot Toys wouldn't be making them but now it looks like that they are so now I want to talk about some possibilities of the figures uh, if they are going to start making Logan figures obviously the first and most logical choice would be Logan himself um, this you know they're going to make Logan if they make somebody uh, so obviously they'd make him now my question about how the figure would turn out is what would they do costume wise and damage wise uh, because this is uh, quite an interesting scenario here so for me I think that they have three costumes that they could choose from and I have the pictures up here they have either just his uh, his kind of like um, his his suit that he kind of it's kind of like his work suit that he uses in the beginning of the film we do see him fighting as well then we have there's the brown jacket one uh, that he wears in the middle of, of the film. We do see him fight in that as well, and that's the biggest callback to his old man Logan look. And then we have his uh, his tank top, um, but with a bit of a, a blue uh, coat on top of it, um, that he wears at the end of the film. And that's obviously his, uh, his, his final battle uh, costume, basically. So they have three, I would say, good choices as far as which, uh, as far as the clothing to do. Personally, if I chose, I would go with the, the third one. I think that just having the the tank top uh, Wolverine is the um, is the most iconic look for the movie Wolverine character. So I think that would have been that would be the best. And it's also from the finale of the film, so obviously uh, there's there's something good in it for there as well. Um, and I would hope that he comes with the blue jacket because although in in the final battle he doesn't wear the blue jacket with it, um, he still does wear that blue jacket uh, in the middle section uh, with uh, with the battle there. So that would have, that would be nice to have the option to play him with the blue jacket or just the tank top. Um, so yeah, so that would be nice. Uh, I would like the middle one with the brown jacket. That would be cool. Um, just because it's the, the biggest callback to old man Logan. However, uh, just personally from, from a look 
standpoint, I don't like it as much. And then his his outfit from the beginning of the movie would be cool as well, but again, I would much prefer the third one. Um, as far as the uh, facial hair, that's a big question as well, because obviously he does get a, a bit of a trim uh, in the in the third act of the movie, and, uh, and he has more of an old man Logan facial hairstyle. I hope that they do go with that. It's not a big deal for me. I'd be okay either way. However, I would prefer the kind of uh, the the look where his beard is just on like either side of his face and not on the middle. Uh, I think that's just that's a slightly better look because it's from the finale and it's um, about the comics or it's from the comics. Then. Uh as far as the blood, you know, I, this obviously is a very bloody movie. I don't know if there would be any issue of making figures with blood on them. I really, I can't personally think of other figures that have this. Uh, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I can't picture another Hot Toys figure with blood on it other than a few marks on like Tony Stark head sculpts. Um, but it would be great if they could go kind of full out bloody. Uh, it would be it would be awesome if they gave you like two tank tops, one that's completely damaged and full of blood, and then one that's regular. That would be awesome. I'd love some damage in the face. Obviously, they'd have to do scars, but then maybe some fresh scars, uh, and then blood on the claws. I would want, I would totally want two sets of claws, one clean and then one bloody. That would be super cool. And then, so, so if I have my way, there, there would be interchangeable battle damage, pieces of clothing, uh, and that clothing would be styled off of the third picture there. Then we have Laura. I would love for them to make X-23. Uh, she was a fantastic character in this movie, and it would be super cool to get her figure. And again, I would like some blood uh, uh, claws for her as well, and definitely want some clawed feet uh, to be showing. That would be cool. Um, as far as her, it, how, what... Uh, what's the possibility of getting a figure for her? I don't think it's very good, but I think that there's a chance. We've obviously never seen this actress in the movies before, so we can't say that, oh, well, they didn't make her last time, so they're not going to make her this time. So there is a possibility of them making her. However, as far as history goes, there's very few characters, if any, that are made that aren't Hugh Jackman from um, X-Men. So I don't think it's a good chance, but we have multiple Wolverine figures, and we have uh, Deadpool. So there's a chance of getting a Laura figure, and that would be fantastic. I'd be, I'd be all in for that. I would totally get both of them. I think that would be so cool. And then, finally, my last thing I want to say, I do want to, before I say it, though, say if you haven't seen the movie yet, just stop watching the video now. You kind of know my thoughts about the uh, Logan and Laura um, figures that I would like to see. So, if, if you haven't seen the movie, stop watching. Um, if you have seen the movie, I would personally like an X-24 as well. Uh, obviously, there wouldn't be any license issue issues because it's Hugh Jackman again, you know, it's just a clone of him. And I think it would just be really cool to have a Logan and an X-24 to pose together. I think that they would look incredible. I would really just be buying X-24 for the poses. Um, but I think it's just awesome because you kind of have the good and the evil portion of, of uh, the character of Logan, like his internal struggle um, personified externally. So I think that would be very cool to have a representation of that on my shelf. That would be super awesome. Uh, so I personally would like an X-24. However, I'm not holding out for the X-24. I think that realistically speaking, Logan himself is the only character that we can expect or at least hope for from Hot Toys. With this with these comments from Hot Toys, I think there's a good chance we'll get Logan. I think that there's a small chance that we get Laura, and I think that there's a tiny chance that we get X-24. But no matter what, I'll be very happy even if we just get Logan. However, I'll be ecstatic if we get uh, X-23 and Logan. That would be so cool. But there you go. That's my thoughts on what I hope and think that we might be able to expect from Hot Toys in regards to Logan figures. Let me know what you guys think of this uh, possibility of getting Logan figures, and let me know what you guys would want as far as uh, which characters and how you'd want them to look, which costumes, things like that. With Laura, she'd definitely have to have that kind of rainbow shirt and uh, jean jacket combo with those sunglasses. That's definitely going to be a necessary feature uh, for sure. But there you go. Really hoping for some awesome Logan figures in the future, and hopefully it, I, we don't have to to wait too long in the future to finally get them. So let me know what you guys think of this, and thanks so much for watching.